A new report suggests the sugar industry played down the hazards of sugar for decades. Don Daylor has more on these allegations of sweet deception. Hey kids, let's sing that song you like, the one about the sugar cane. On TV, the sugar industry used jingles to attract consumers. Island kids all love that cane, it grows so clean and sweet. They eat it when it's freshly cut. And then that's quite a treat. But newly discovered documents show the industry also paid Harvard scientists in the 1960s to downplay sugar's effect on heart disease. The industry eventually spent $5.3 million in today's dollars on research reviews, which highlighted the negative impacts of saturated fats and promoted that sugar is what keeps every human being alive. Kristen Kearns from the University of California, San Francisco, discovered the 31 pages of internal correspondence. It was pretty shocking to me that the sugar industry that far back was concerned about the evidence linking sugar to heart disease, concerned enough to enlist Harvard researchers and to hire them to essentially write a literature review exonerating sugar from being linked to heart disease. The report published this week in the journal JAMA Internal Medicine shows the Sugar Association launched the campaign to repudiate the negative attitudes towards sugar. One article shows an intentional effort to deceive the public by stating there was no doubt that the only dietary intervention required to prevent heart disease was to reduce dietary cholesterol. New York University Professor of Nutrition, Marion Nestle. This study has very important lessons for today because food companies are still funding a lot of research. And people need to be skeptical about that research because we know that research that is funded by food companies tends to come out with results that are very beneficial to, that, to the sponsor's products. In a statement, the Sugar Association admitted it should have exercised greater transparency in all of its research activities. But when the studies in question were published, funding disclosures were not the norm. Don Daler, CBS News, New York.